Hello. Today I will change the screen of a Samsung S10 Plus mobile phone. Welcome to Pachi Technology. First of all, you need to remove the protective cover from the back of the phone. To do this, the ends of the cap must be heated to loosen the glue that holds the cap together. I used a hair dryer. It is important to be careful not to break the back cover. Sometimes, it is very stuck, and plastic accessories must be used so that it does not stick again. To make it come off easier, I use isopropyl alcohol. Alcohol dissolves the glue, but if you don't have it, you can do without, although you'll have to be more careful not to break anything. As you can see, I also use a suction cup. It helps me hold the back cover, but if you don't have one, you can do without. This visible plastic is responsible for wireless charging. To remove it we have to undo the screws that hold it. To remove the screws, you can do it with your fingers, although it will be easier if you do it with pliers. Once all the screws are removed, I use a small plastic tool to separate the black part from the motherboard without damaging anything.
Now, we have the battery and motherboard visible. The first thing I do, is disconnect the battery to avoid damaging the electronic circuit. I disconnect the connector from the motherboard. I remove the screws that hold the base plate. I remove the front camera connector. To touch electronic components, I use gloves. I remove the microphone and headphones connector. I put alcohol to remove the battery easier. It is important to check that the two screens are compatible. In this case, the new screen does not have the fingerprint reader, but it is supported. I start putting all the components on the new screen. The first thing I put on is the vibrator. You have to remove the blue plastic where the battery goes. Once removed, the glue used to hold the battery is visible. It is important to check the battery before putting it in. If it is in bad condition it is highly recommended to change it. The price of a battery is not exorbitant. It is important to tighten the battery, so that it is held with the glue.
I put the headphone connector. I put the motherboard back in place. You have to be very careful not to spoil any of its components. I glue the screws that hold the electronic board. I connect the battery again. The connector is very small and we have to make sure that it is properly seated. I put the cameras in place. I put the wireless charger in place. We must take into account that it is not bent and is exactly in place. I put back the screws that hold it. At this point, the mobile is almost completely assembled. Only the back cover is missing. It is highly recommended to check that everything is working properly before you finish assembling the cover. To put the back cover on, you can use the remaining glue. If you prefer, you can add more. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe.